All right, good morning, class. So this is going to be a test. We're going to go through this year. We're going to try to do at least one flip lesson. So we'll start off uh, what my expectations are for you for this. As I go through the notes, you're going to go ahead and take all the notes, new vocabulary, examples, uh, write them all down. If you need to, stop at any time during the lesson. Now that's in your control. Write it down. Uh, you'll come in the next morning, and I will check it. And that's what I'm going to be seeing is that you're taking notes. So we'll begin with the two things that we're going to go over today is we're going to model relationships with variables and we're going to model relationships with equations. So I want that just on the top of your paper as we go through it, these two objectives. So this will be uh, section 1.1 using variables. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start with a number of vocabulary. This first thing is a variable, algebraic expression, and equation. So here we go. We'll start with a variable. So a variable is a symbol, usually you're going to see it as a letter, uh, that represents one or more number. Okay, so that's the first one. Next one, algebraic expression. An expression is a mathematical phrase that can include a number, variable, and operations. Example of that, x plus 2, y plus 5, that would be an, ex an example of an expression. So you, uh, an equation, now it differs... Now an equation has an equal sign. So it's a mathematical sentence that uses an equal sign. Last one, open sentence. I should go back to an equation. Uh, five plus two equals seven. That would be an equation that has an equal sign to it. Open sentence, an equation that contains one or more variables that is an open. Uh, so x plus y equals five. That would be an open sentence going from there. Um, so if we have two or more variables, that's what we're talking about in open sentence. So again, x plus y equals 5 would be an open one. So what we're going to go through now is you're going to write an expression, you're going to write an equation using variables. So what I want to go through is the different types of operations that you'll see. So addition, you'll see it as plus some increase. By any time we're talking about um, Addition, you'll see it as this. So it'll be 5 plus 6. And we want to write uh, in a phrase for that. Subtraction, you'll see it as minus, difference, less than. Uh, multiplication, you'll see as times, product, uh, equal groups of. And then last division, divided by quotient. So write those down. That's what we're going to be going back to each time we go through it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to write an expression. So if we remember, an expression doesn't have an equal sign for each one of these. So 8 plus a number, the sum of x and 3, 7 more than a number. I want you to write down each one of these in a, as an example. So 8 plus a number would be 8. If we go back to uh, our previous slide, plus, so that means addition. So 8 plus a number. We don't know what the number is, so that would be our variable. 8 plus a. If we go the sum of x and 3, again, sum means addition, so we go x plus 3. 7 more than a number, again, 7 more than means addition, so 7 more than a number, so n plus 7. Again, your variables could be x, you could use m, j, they could be a smiley face, but we're going to use a variable form. 15 minus w. So we go 15 minus means subtraction, w. So we go 15 just as it shows, 15 minus w. Here, 7 less than, less than means subtraction, then n. So we're 7 less than n, so, and this matters, n minus 7. We're 7 less than what we had. We had n and we subtracted. So in addition, the order doesn't matter. In subtraction, the order will matter. Then lastly, the difference of 3 and a number. So the difference, subtraction, again, order matters. Anytime we do subtraction, order will matter. So write down these examples. If you haven't already done so, pause whenever you need to, to make sure. I know I'm going quick, but pause and take your time. So again, we're going to continue to define a variable. Now we're just going to explain what that variable means. So a number minus 11. So first of all, we can write it a number minus 11. So um, n minus 11. So a number minus 11 is that. Now what does n mean? What does that represent? 
It just rep represents any number. Any number we could put in there. The sum of 13 and twice a number. So the sum means we're adding. So 13 and twice a number. Twice means two times a number. So we write an expression as 13 plus two times a number right here. Now what does n mean? Well, it just means a number, some number. The last one, the quotient of 11 and a number. Quotient means division. So we go 11 divided by a number. And again, what does n represent? A number. Now we want to write a phrase. We want to write this out. So we could say Q, uh, and it's addition. So what do we could say? Increase by, sum of, all right, I write five more than Q. You could switch the order and you could say Q more than five. All right, but here, what does it mean? Well, we can just literally write it out. Well, what operations happen in between nine and n? It's multiplied, so you could go nine times n, and now we have addition, so we could say plus one. You could write it there. You could say this, one more then, so we have one more, that takes care of that. And then the product, product means multiplication of nine and n. All right? Then we go through some story problems. What is the uh, number of slices left over from an eight slice pizza after you've eaten some slices. So we want to define our variables. What are our unknowns and write an equation to model each situation. So first of all, T is the total number of slices. Okay, and then we could say E is the number of slices eaten. So if I want to write an expression, I could say that the total number of pizza, uh, total number of slices that I have left is equal to eight, how many I started with, minus E, how many I've eaten. And that would be my equation right there. But we want to explain what does each one of these mean. I'm going through it. Last little bit that we have, define our variables. So we have two columns if you look at it. I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 13, 26, 39, and 52. So we want to define our variables, then write an equation. So think about my variables are going to be the tops. Okay, so my variables are number of workers and number of radios built. So I could say W stands for number of workers, and so I could say R is the number of radios built. Now, how do I write an equation for how many radios I have built? Well, if you think about it, what's the pattern? 1 to 13, 2 to 26, 3 to 39, 4 to 52. If you look at it, what we're doing is we're adding 13 radios for every one worker. So 13, 26, 39, and 52. So my equation would be the number of radios built, R, right, is equal to 13 times every worker I have. And so if you looked at it, so if you had um, two workers, 2 times 13 gives you 26. 3 times 13 gives you 39. And 4 times 13 gives you 52. And so that's a quick way we could check it to see that it works. All right? So that's our first lesson. Uh, again, if you need to stop anywhere, just go ahead, stop, write it, write down these notes, and then we'll, uh, you'll come into class tomorrow ready to go. All right, thank you.